Hi everyone, um, Julie and Mark here, currently in beautiful Washington State as you can see from the lovely green ever tree, yeah. evergreen trees behind us. Evergreen State. Yeah. Uh, checking in because today is the three month anniversary since we hit the road and left our home state of Colorado uh, on June 19, 2014. So it's uh, now September 19 and it's hard to believe that three months have already gone by. So we thought we'd just this week do a little video to check in with you in person and uh, say hello to our friends, family and followers yep. and uh, share a little bit about our journey. So far I'm just super excited. I, I, um, I had some big hopes and, and aspirations for what this lifestyle was going to be and it's far exceeded all my expectations. I love the freedom. I love the ability to move on the fly and make your choices. And you know, I've always lived so much, so much more structured and conservative, I guess. But uh, this has been really fun for me to have a exercise in uh, in winging things a bit more. But what do you love about it? What what do you what are your favorite things about the adventure? So. Well, the favorite things for me is is just always having somewhere new outside our door step. Um, while we had a really lovely home in a lovely neighborhood and I love Colorado, um, you know sometimes for all of us, no matter where we live, life can get a little mundane sometimes and so I think for me, um, you know, being more of a creative type and liking to write and you know like creating the content for the blog and things like that's a lot of fun for me so it gives me a lot more, a lot more experiences, a lot more ideas, a lot more stimulation, and a lot more um, people that are meeting and are loving meeting people from all different walks of life and all hearing their stories uh, that's been really really cool um, yeah. Yeah. I agree totally that we've met so many unique people and it's you get such a diverse group in these campgrounds you know you it's it's really been neat to see all the people coming all different walks of life and all different lifestyles and different stages in their life too. We've seen the young couples and we've seen retired folks and we've seen everywhere in between so it's pretty cool. A lot of people have been wondering about how we managed to get by in such a small space without killing each other and that's really very easy because we don't hate each other. Yeah, <laughs> because we love each other and we're used to work we're used to being in a smaller space together yeah. actually before we even started this. So I was I wasn't the least bit worried about it, but that was a big concern for quite a few people. For us, I think the yeah. Mark gets a little jealous sometimes because I sleep. Yeah. <laughs> he gets up really early to start work. He gets up at like 5.30 and sometimes I get up with him, not very often. And, yeah, um, not very often. Yeah, especially Usually now it's, it's getting dark. Yeah. It's getting darker in the mornings, always better I think in the yeah. early part of the trip, but now as it's getting darker and sometimes colder in the mornings, he gets up and Actually, sometimes the dog doesn't even get up. She stays asleep. Yeah, none of the girls <laughs> get up. It's up. just me. And he's away, working so. by 6.30 yeah. in the morning because he's on a mountain time schedule. And because we're here in, in Pacific time in California, in Oregon, in Washington, we're in the Pacific uh, standard time. Uh, he's usually been working at the laptop for two or three hours before Coda and I wake up and get out of bed. So he gets yeah. Usually a, a couple hours jealous. for sure. It'll be interesting to see how when someday when we go to East Coast, it'll be interesting to see how that works out because um, yeah. obviously it'll be a different time zone. I'll be sleeping in a little bit more. So that's uh, I'm a more morning person though, so it's fine. Uh, and I love the the trade off on that. I mean, though we have to I have to get up early. Um, the trade off is that when work's done and it's fairly early in the afternoon, I still have a long evening to be able to enjoy and explore an area during the week, let alone during on the weekend. So. We've just barely scratched the surface of this area, even though we've been taking about a month at a time getting into some of these states, which is really wonderful to be able to slow travel and you get to feel like you're getting a little bit into the culture. But I really look forward to slowing down even more and having longer stays in, in locations and getting even more into the environment and really exploring on a deeper level still. Coda's having a really good time. Saw the beast for the first time and 
getting to chase the ball a lot because she's spending more time outside and like this place where we're at right now we're just right out of the coach we can just throw the ball for her and uh it's super fun for her and she had a little bit of an adjustment um those first couple of weeks it was a little unsettling for her because she's always lived in the same neighborhood her whole life and so it was a little change for her to go live in this moving home but uh she adjusts as long as we're there she's good and uh, i think she's having a great time for the most part so one thing that's funny with koda is when we lived in the townhome she was in the inside dog so if we opened the door particularly if we had visitors and the door open she would shoot out the door and she would run around the block and thought it was a fun game well here a couple of times she's uh, started to do it and she'll start to run and then she'll stop because she realizes, hang on, I don't know where I am and I don't know where I'm going. So yeah. that's that's been pretty funny. What she try to take off and she's like, yeah, I don't think I'll do that. I those think I have, might just stay here. Those have been funny. I, I think it's funny to watch her have those moments where you can just see her little wheels turning in her brain. Say, oh my God, wait, well, <laughs> but they're not trying to stop me, but I want to go, but I don't know where to go. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty funny with her for sure. We really so. just want to say thank you to all of our family and friends and followers who have been um, traveling along this journey with us, uh, reading our blogs, watching the videos, commenting, uh, sending emails, calling, saying, you know, that you're enjoying them. It really means a lot and that uh, keeps us inspired to keep creating them. So uh, thanks again and we'll catch you next time. Yeah.